Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. They're floating in the air like what the Harbinger used to do, or Sovereign, whichever one of them did that. No, I've done so well. Itself? That's incredible. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first, Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers, never went back to dark space, like a rogue or even a defector. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne, you need to listen to me, okay? Your father... is dead. I'm sorry. He's... what? Dead? He can't be dead. I mean, both these seem equally true. You found something that wanted to stay hidden found something? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, the next... He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Ben. I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation. Meet you there. No. Oh. I missed the convenience of the Omega mission where it took me back at the Citadel. Thank you. 
Hello? Anne? Are you here? Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. Are you all right? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. It's so stupid. And I'm not really intruding. This seems a bit... I don't think the situation calls for us to be this blunt. But equally I'm not intruding. We agreed to meet here at this time. I understand, but we really need your help. I know, I know. I'm just a, a little lost, seeing all this again. He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still I am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I loved that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. I don't think making her more emotional is going to help. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. And You sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me... I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a rebirth. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a arachnid drone waiting for orders from the Queen. Yeah, you're shields are trash it's so naive you studied the rachni i wrote my dissertation on them my father thought it was a waste of time but now it might actually help us understand leviathan in what way we think of the rachni as telepathic but there's really no such thing at short range the queen uses pheromones to give orders at long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. That's kind of how the Prothean Beacon works according to the Codex, so that probably makes sense. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Hey, loco. Right. Need a hand? Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. 
I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes, but this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God, he'd have hated dying here. Anne, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us... I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. It seems like a really dumb idea. Could we not get, you know, a Vorcher or something and get them to be controlled instead? You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Now let me put a tinfoil hat on first. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. Yeah, it sounds stupid. Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. I don't think we should do this. You sure about this? Yes. Just gonna end up shooting her. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. Where are our guns? I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yo! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Relay that, Lieutenant. Signal is fading. Maintain connection. We can fight them. We can win this. The cycle cannot be broken. You're wrong. Focusing the point of origin. Maintain connection to narrow the search. I'm stopping this! Yeah, let's stop it. Raise the shield! Jeez. Look at her. I still think the shield is just a placebo, though. I reckon she's still indoctrinated. We should get our guns, really. Anne? Anne, are you all right? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it hurts. It's gonna be okay. You did great. Edie, did we get anything? Yes, Shepard. But it will take time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. This better be worth it. Agreed, Lieutenant. Anything else, Anne? It was dark. Cold. I can tell you this much. Leviathan is angry. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help. No, Chuck her in the brig. No. Oh, where's she gone? She better not have gone to the hospital. We really need to keep her in a jail cell. She's too dangerous. Oh, good. The head's back. We really need to keep her 
close as possible. Same as with Edie, really. Yeah, they're both dangers. They should both be here. Wonder where she is then. Didn't mean to do that, really. No, I don't think this is it. We need to find where she is. I don't think she'll be in any of these sections. She might be on the ship, or she might be in the hospital. Well, we don't have the choice of the hospital right now. No, this isn't what we wanted. From Bray, Subject Omega. Things are settling down on Omega. Looks like the Talons are the new security force on the station. Their leader said something about honouring Kandros's memory. I'd say they were being cute, except they're not shy about backing up the sentiment with firepower. Be careful out there. Know there's at least one Batarian here that doesn't want you dead. Bray. Not as if we made friends with Bray. That's sweet. Now oh, where's the med bay? You hear we had to evac another colony? We're losing a lot. Don't hear about the Reapers losing much. Well, Reapers don't have colonies. Neither does Cerberus. If they did, we could drop an asteroid on them. Who that? Why could I half speak to him and then not? Oh well. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Hmm. Let's go check in with Edie. See if she knows where uh, where Anne is. I'm going to make a guess that she's just not anywhere. I have formulated a psych profile for Dr. Anne Bryson. She is not used to death but she may be quite capable under stress. Maximum dynamic pressure is approaching. Throttle down for minimal resistance. Thanks, Mom. If that is how you categorize me, I will tell you to stop slouching. Oh, well that was just gibberish. That doesn't help me find her. I'm pretty confident she's not going to be anywhere, but we can always go check in the hospital. I don't think there's any point, is there? She's not going to be there. Commander. Well, we've only got one scan for Leviathan. That's not too bad, then. I thought it was going to be quite a few of them. Signal confirmed. 
Oh, well, that looks easy, doesn't it? Search successful. Scans reveal a faint trace of Leviathan's energy signature. Closer examination required for confirmation. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Oh, we wanted James, not Garrus. He was in the last um, thing as well. Can I change him? No, it doesn't look like it. Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Makes you wonder what we're going to find down there. Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. It appears it doesn't wish to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Right. But then what? It plays pretty rough, and if it is a Reaper, I don't know that's the kind of help we want. Yeah, I agree with Garrus. Um, it'll just indoctrinate us. That's basically its only thing that we know about it, is that that's what it does. So we're probably going to kill it. Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not going to like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible? The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Not our best entrance, Shepard. Out of the shuttle, Cortez. Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. It would seem others have been stranded here as well. We aren't the first to encounter that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Yeah, this is crazy. We didn't know any of... You know, we thought this was an unexplored solar system. Can't say I recognize any of those ships. Just how long have they been here? Data padlog, Atom Brooks. The hull will hold, that's what they say. Whatever god watches over Ezo prospectors came through for us. Despite a hell of a smack in the water landing, the MSV Monarch displaces enough air to stay afloat. We're all thankful we're alive. Captain Pratt even ordered the champagne broken out. Helps perspective, I guess. The big puzzle, what downed us in the first place? Kunchen says it wasn't lightning, it was some kind of pulse. A directed energy weapon seems likely, but where would it have come from? There's no radio traffic. The whole bloody ocean is silent. Tonight the techs are going to try rerouting the power to get a good mass drop before the thrusters firing. If all goes well, we'll be airborne in 24 hours. Shepard, we got one of those artifacts. Explains why no one gets out of here. We'll shoot him in a second. Any idea how old these are? The bones are untouched by scavengers. If they rotted clean from humidity and exposure, it might take more than a year. Datapad log, Shen Kunshin. 
attempts to get airborne have failed every time. The damage done by the pulses, if you could call it damage, doesn't make any physical sense. The connections aren't fried, but the monarch's thrusters disengage. The distress beacon is likewise dead, but most of our electronics are still functioning. It doesn't seem to be a result of shielding. Without a distress beacon, we've got no chance. I hear bad things about ration supplies, and I think that's why the captain ordered us to collect rainwater and set up tents on the deck. It keeps us busy. Brooks has been talking about using the Triton's weapons to try blast fishing. I agree, but I haven't seen anything that looks like a fish. I wish I were an optimist. Leviathan indoctrinate them to let them starve to death, did he? Seems bizarre. No, I don't think that could be right. They must have found the artifacts after he wrote that blog. Data pad log, Dr. Chai Lin. The rations will hold us two days more. Brooks sent a drone to the bottom and it came up with a bioluminescent plant life. None of it is edible. I warned the crew not to eat it before my tests were done, but Romero and Molins tried it anyway. They haven't stopped vomiting and their dehydration wastes fresh water. We sent Kunshin's team on a raft over to the wrecks. They came back with spheres, some kind of organic based alien technology but nothing to eat. I want to believe they'll give us some answers. But if they had helped the other ships figure out what happened, they wouldn't be here now, would they? It's getting cold. Captain Abel Pratt. Ramos is our first death. He tried to throw one of the spheres overboard and something happened. Kunshan and maybe three or four others started beating him like madmen. I wish I was quick enough to save him. They showed no remorse, not even comprehension. It's clear I am no longer in control. I held a funeral to keep order. The crew would have been at his body like wild dogs. We compromised. He will be tethered in the water to attract scavenging animals that we will catch for food. If he doesn't get a bite within three of this planet's days, we cut him loose as a water burial. We've sealed the Tritons off. They're dangerous, especially given the crew's mental state. My kingdom for a shark. So simply waiting for is an option. Datapad log, Karna Camacho. The captain gets it now. He had to lock himself in the ship, screaming that he had to fix it. We were gentle, one person for each limb. We let him rest on the sphere. Sometimes, in the middle of the night, he came around, and now he agrees. We won't leave. Why would we? I think this will be my last entry. Everyone here understands me. If anyone finds us, they might feel differently, but that can be fixed in time. It's so good not being hungry anymore. So did they eat people? Company Shepard. Must have been right behind it. What is it? Reaper. What am I doing?
sure I've explored the lead. Oi, stop shooting me. They're coming from everywhere. Cortez, what happened to almost there? Out of development, Commander. Fixing it now. Good, doesn't kill anything. I wish I had some assault rifle about that. Okay, we're clear. Nice work, Commander. But there's a development. We need to talk. Might be better to explore, actually. Thanks for that ED, asshole. shots at us, which is nice. Doesn't look salvageable, though. Interesting. How did... I wonder why they end up with one of them, because there seems to be human. Everything that, you know, it seems to be human way of doing things, doesn't it? Tanks and stuff. Okay, we're just about to go back the bridge then. That was to be what spawned in the uh, air. That's where we go next then. Status. 
Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked her right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. And what about the Normandy? Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. Might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. I'm game. We chased Leviathan this far. Let's finish this. It's a long ways down. Not good at sugarcoating. I hear you. And time's wasted. Shepard. Perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. Are we seriously proposing it? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? I guess we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. I think we'll do that next episode. Thanks for watching. Come back for the next part of Mass Effect 3. The sight of a Reaper harvester in flight nearby is one of the first indications that a Reaper invasion is underway. Their massive wingspan allows them to quickly cover the distance between them and their prey. In the harvester's mouth are two heavy guns that fire in an alternating pattern. The Harvester's most fearsome quality, however, is that its appearance guarantees that Reaper ground troops are not far behind. Like the other planets in this system, 2181 Ubalos is an unknown quantity. It appears to be a hydrogen-helium gas giant surrounded by the usual complement of moons and rings. Scans reveal no detectable artificial satellites. The rock planet 2181 Arion is only known from space probes and there are no records of its exploration. It appears to have a moderate atmosphere of hydrogen and helium over an icy surface. 2181 Despoina was only spotted recently by human space probes and no records indicate it has been explored since. Scans indicate it is covered in an ocean of liquid water and has a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere. It is highly likely to have at least some photosynthetic life, 